Hello, today's devotional can be found in Mosiah chapter 3 verse 24, and Mosiah can be found in the Book of Mormon. And thus saith the Lord, they shall stand as a bright testimony against this people at the judgment day, whereof they shall be judged every man according to his works, whether they be good or whether they be evil. All right. Those who participate and build up good works shall stand as a bright testimony against the wicked. They shall stand for what they believe to be true, what they know to be true. And their good works will have prepared them to enjoy the best rewards that eternity can offer. And at Judgment Day they will be able to easily give up the last of their sins and go to that place of eternal rest without much fuss. The evil, the wicked, however, will have filled their lives with wicked works. They will have been given opportunity to embrace God and Jesus Christ. And they will not have taken it even knowing what they were losing and what they were costing themselves and others closely associated with them. They shall resent those who stand as a bright testimony and try very hard to destroy them. Both physically and spiritually, although they may be able to harm or defeat the righteous physically, they shall not defeat the righteous spiritually so long as the righteous stay strong. And the Lord will protect the righteous, even if it means bringing them back to their heavenly home after they have done what they need to do. Because sometimes that is the best way to protect a person or persons from wickedness. And those who are taken back to their Heavenly Father for that purpose shall stand as a bright testimony. The wicked at that great and last day will not be willing to give up their sins so easily or even to face them because they will have to admit that they really screwed up and the wicked well they can't stand that and they cannot go to their eternal place of rest because everyone will have an eternal place of rest but the wicked will not be able to rest from their sins because they will not be able to give them up they will want to hang on to them like treasures even though Christ died for everyone's sins I mean, the wicked have no rest on their sins simply because they will not be able to give them up or give them to the atonement because it's not something they believe in. And it's really unfortunate because the atonement helps us to be able to do better works when we've already done good works. And it helps us to stand as a bright testimony, even in times of trial. And it, the atonement helps us to see trials as refinement, that we might be able to become better children of God. I mean, we're already good children of God, but with, through the atonement and through the refinement process that trials put us through, we can become even better. And with that said, I love you all so very much, and I say these things humbly in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.